All right. This is something I probably should have dis discussed a while back. Should have discussed it more last year when people were asking me about it. But recently the subject came up and I wanted to discuss it now. So in 2015, there was a period in which I stated some views that I did not actually hold. And I want to come clean on what those, you know, what those views were and, you know, what I was lying about. Gamergate. When I first tried to, tried to talk about my viewpoints of it, and that, to me, it seemed more like a bullying and harassment campaign than anything that actually has to do with, uh, you know, ethics and gaming journalism. And I would complain that, hey, you know, we're having problems in jour with journalism in general. Let's talk more about journalism in general. And gaming just has to do with that. Um, no, 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 you can't, can't talk about journalism in general. Okay, then, then, you know, what's the end goal here? You know, what, what good does all this bullying and harassment do? Well, of course, that resulted in me receiving the worst bullying and harassment that I've ever had. Okay? The bullying and harassment that I received when I made those videos was far worse than when I disagreed with Bering. You know, I, 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 I can't even count how many of the, you know, die faggot and uh, uh, I'm going to kill you and uh, you're... You're a reprehensible person. You have no morals. You're awful. You're just just every possible thing. The work, the things that people put a lot of time and effort into thinking about how to hurt someone. That's what was in my comment sections on those videos. So eventually, eventually, I said, you know, I'm I'm sick of this. You know, I said to myself, I'm sick of this. And if I disable comments, they're just going to come to all my other videos and harass me there. So I thought, hey, what, what? How about this? Why don't I just say, hey, yes, I. Well, I guess you're right. I I agree. It's all about ethics and gaming journalism. Yes, I changed my mind. You you changed my views because of some. There was some website people kept leading me to. That's. You know, it's kind of like, it, it, it's it's all about uh, uh, Gamergate in the same way that, you know, everyday feminism is about feminism, right? You know, propaganda website, but, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, I agree, you changed my mind. So then people make videos about me, I get talked about on Reddit, and a whole bunch of other places, all the harassment stopped. It all completely stopped. And all I had to do was lie about my position about Gamergate. And then I get praised all around. But if you suggest that a lot of people in Gamergate like to harass others, well, it's time to receive harassment and bullying. Yeah, that was what I, that is what I lied about in 2015. And those videos are gone. Those videos don't exist anymore. I didn't want anything to do with it anymore. You know, had I have known just how toxic people are about that subject, I wouldn't wouldn't have talked about it in the first place. But you know, you know, since then I've learned that there are a whole slew of subjects you just don't talk about on this platform. And it's not the feminists that come after people for talking about them. It's the anti-SJWs that come after people for talking about them. So I don't. And I probably won't. I've learned the hard way. 
I also did something immoral. I lied in 2015 in order to avoid getting that kind of treatment. So now you know. Now you know what the subject was. Now you know what it's about. And now you know why I... There are some subjects I just don't talk about on this platform. 